Hi there, let's get to it. We're looking at two elements today, the key mixer node inside of the node editor and the key palette that controls it. The key mixer is generated from inside the node editor by right clicking, add node and key. The way it works is very similar to a layer mixer in that it allows you to take information from multiple nodes and combine it to create a single output. Just like the layer mixer, you can right click on the key node and add more inputs if you so wish. Unlike the layer mixer, these nodes are not based on RGB values, but rather on key values. Uh, the controls for how you get these keys to interact with one another are available inside of the key palette underneath. So right now I have three horizontal sets of lines indicating my input and a single one indicating my output. So I'll be able to feed different types of key information into the mixer. The two icons in the top right corner reflect the ones that we saw in the power windows that allow you to either invert your selection or to turn it into a mask. So let's take a look at a real life application of how we might use the key mixer. I have a locked off shot of a man coming out from behind some rocks. So my goal here will be to isolate him by excluding the foreground and background from the image. So first thing I'd like to do is create a serial node so that I have something to send this RGB information to. After that, I'm going to create a key mixer. This mixer is going to need some keys and I'm going to send information excluding the background and the foreground from the image. I'm going to make a couple of corrector nodes and I'm going to send RGB signals to both of them so that they can detect this signal. But instead of outputting RGB, I'll only have them outputting the key information. I'm going to label everything so I know what everything is doing. I am isolating the sky in the top one and the foreground in the bottom one. For the sky, I can use the qualifier and just click and drag to select all this blue. And then I can click on the node underneath. And because there are so many different colors, not to mention the moving shadow, it would make sense to use a power curve and just draw a custom outline. If I switch over to the final node, I'll reveal that my astronaut has now been isolated. So I can start making changes to him on his own, or I could click Alt-O to create an outside node, which reintroduces everything except him. And then I can give it a bit of a red planet look. Now normally you'd want to spend a bit more time cleaning up a key like this. So for example, I would want to use a power window to isolate his helmet to get rid of that spill. And then later on a rectangular shape to get rid of the spill on his backpack. And then the same for his backpack. And just make sure again that the interaction between the two is correct. All right, so it's, it's still a pretty rough composite, but now I have isolated and tracked these two power windows to give me a slightly cleaner look. And I can further continue to reuse these keys. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I might decide that I want to create a parallel node and I'll be receiving information for this node from the sky key. Except I'd like the selection to be inverted. So I simply click on my key input and the inverse button. And now I can continue to work on the sky and maybe make it more dramatic. And then go back to the astronaut and do some more controls on him. A few last notes on the key palette specifically. When you're inside of the key mixer, you have the individual controls for all your inputs and outputs, but the key palette changes based on what you have selected. So if I was to click on any of my regular correction nodes, then the controls change to the singular key input and key output, as well as giving you further qualifier controls. The third thing that you could use your key input for are external mats. And here we have transform controls so that you're able to change the size and position of the key and freeze loop and locking the mat prevents you from making any transform changes by accident. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.